Disclaimer, I am not a lawyer. Left 4 Dead is a Valve game and belongs to EA, Valve, Source, and their respected owners. This video is in accordance with the copyright law and follows the five points of the fair use clause in the copyright law. Wow, this is gonna get bad. Son, we just crossed the street. Let's not throw a party till we're out of the city. Oh my god, fuck, run like hell, run like hell, run like hell, run like hell. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Come on, you sons of bitches, I'm not afraid of you! This has to be one of the best, if not the best, co-op game in the history of gaming. Developed by Turtle Rock Studios and Valve comes Left 4 Dead, the zombie end of the world killing spree. Left 4 Dead pits you and four friends in a zombie filled apocalyptic movie world where you must use teamwork to do one thing and that is to survive. Now, one of the main things that makes this game so amazing is its strict emphasis on teamwork. The only way to play and beat this game is to work as a team and to stick together with your teammates. Try and go for the solo act in this game and you will die. Yup. I'm sorry traditional 360 co-op fans. You can't go all Master Chief on your team and run off ahead to be the lone wolf hero. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh no. You do that and you'll be so fucked in the ass it won't even be funny. As a matter of fact, going at it alone is basically asking to die because teamwork is the only way to beat the game. Left 4 Dead makes this extremely clear from the get go. See, if anything happens to you, the only way you could continue or be saved is if a friend helps you. Get injured and fall to the ground, only a teammate can pick you up. Get caught in the grasp of a smoker's tongue, only a teammate can free you. Slip off a ledge, only a teammate can pick you back up. If something happens to you and your teammates are not around, then you simply die because there is literally nothing you can do. Hence the idea of teamwork. 
Now that we got that out of the way, let's get back to the game. The game pits you against waves and waves of zombie hordes, and I'm not talking about 10 or 20 of them. Oh no, I'm talking about waves of them in 50 and well past 100 that sometimes the numbers become so insane that it makes the odds very slim, which makes the game feel all the more intense. Now, despite the obvious handicap in numbers, players always start off with multiple weapons, health, booster pills, ammo, and the essentials to get through the map as well as having certain restock spots and save zones in the game that help even up the odds. Despite the massive numbers and all the chaos on screen all at the same time, the game's source engine as seen in Half-Life and the Orange Box handles things extremely well, leaving no lags, frame rate issues, or glitches while fighting off the hordes of the infected. Graphics are also beautiful from the disturbing images of the city gone to hell to the four playable characters of the game and even the zombies in the special affected. Truly a fantastic looking game. Man, I think this wound's infected. I don't feel so good. Each time you play through it, it'll be different since the location of everything will be changed around to spice things up and stop players from generically predicting what's going to happen next. This also contributes to the game's intensity. Now while Left 4 Dead isn't really scary, it does make up for it with its extreme intensity. Fighting waves upon waves of the undead with little to no ammo waiting for transport to arrive while being injured and having to fight an undying onslaught really keeps you at the edge of your seat. I mean there is no game out there where one second you're fighting alongside your friends and the next you're grabbed from across the screen screaming for help as your friends rush through a wave of zombies in order to help you. The game even plays off of its B-movie horror style with dialogue and moments. You will literally have cliche moments where a player gets injured and falls to the ground shooting their pistols at zombies coming at them while yelling through the mic, LEAVE ME AND GO! Or GET TO THE CHOPPER! And I am seriously not joking about this either. Feeling kind of hungry. Now despite all of this good this game brings to the table, it isn't without its flaws. First off, the game is far too short. You can beat it in under 4 hours. There are 4 maps and 5 sections for each map. Such an amazing game should have been longer. Also, the game gives you little to play with in your arsenal. You only have 4 guns, 2 classes of bombs, and 2 classes of health boosters. You can carry a pistol and 1 gun and 1 of each of the remaining 2 items. I would have liked to have the ability to have an inventory of stuff, but I guess that would probably defeat the purpose of the game's point of intensity. The game also doesn't give you the incentive to play. Everything comes unlocked from the get-go with the obvious exception of achievements, but that's not much to rant about. Having stuff to unlock like content, weapons, or maps would have been nice. In addition to all of this, the game has no real story. You're basically stuck in a zombie hell and you have to shoot your way out of it. That's it. It's pretty much pick up and go. But despite all these criticisms, they don't hold the game back very much. It's still an amazing time and extremely fun, and all of its problems can be fixed with add-ons and expansions. Plus, its near-perfect online co-op and ability to play versus mode as a special effect and make up for the little the game lacks. In the end, the game is still an amazing time and a must-own title. Left 4 Dead gets a 4.5 out of 5. Uh. Diary!